You're watching Backyard Tech. Oh boy. You are not going to believe this, but here we go again. Facebook versus privacy. I think it's fairly clear now we can set our watches by the number of news stories coming out week to week regarding Facebook and a lack of data privacy, basically. It's news time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one, privacy questions are raised as humans reviewed user audio at Facebook. From the Backyard Tech Channel, this is BYT News. G'day everyone. Thank you for tuning in. It is BYT News time here at the Backyard Tech Channel for a Friday morning and here we go again. I mean, you, you now it's official. As far as old mate's concerned, you can set your watch by how many Facebook privacy data problems we get week in, week out. We've covered a lot here at Backyard Tech. This one's from my beloved National 9 News here in Melbourne. Privacy questions as humans reviewed user audio at Facebook. This is from the Associated Press, by the way. Facebook has paid contractors to transcode audio clips from users of its messenger service, raising privacy concerns for the company with a history of privacy lapses. The practice was, until recently, common in the tech industry. Companies say the use of humans helps improve their services. But users aren't typically aware that humans are not just computers, Sorry, start that again. But users aren't typically aware that humans and not just computers are reviewing audio. Transcriptions are done by transcriptions, I'm sorry, done by humans raise bigger concerns because of the potential of rogue employees or contractors leaking details. The practice at Google emerged after some of its Dutch language audio snippets were leaked. More than 1,000 recordings were obtained by Belgian broadcaster VRTNWS, which noted that some contained sensitive personal conversations, as well as information that identified the person speaking. Quote, We feel we have, done, we have some control over machines, said Jamie Whitting, Winterton, Director of Str Strategy at Arizona State, University's Global Security Initiative. Quote, you have no control over humans that way. There's no one, there's no way once a human knows something to drag that piece of data into the recycling bin, close quote. And that's a fair comment. Jeffrey Chester, Executive Director for the Central, for the Centre of Digital Democracy Privacy Advocate, Advocacy Group. Cool, there's a mouthful said it's bad enough that Facebook uses artificial intelligence as part of its data monitoring activities. He said that the use of humans as well is quote unquote even more alarming. Tim Bajaran, tech columnist and president of Creative Strategies, said it's a bigger problem when humans use the information beyond its intended purpose. Facebook said audio snippets reviewed by contractors were masked so that so as not to reveal anyone's identity. It said it stopped the practice a week ago. The development was reported earlier by Bloomberg. Google said it suspended doing this worldwide while it investigates the Dutch leaks. Apple has also suspended its use of humans for the, for the Siri digital assistant, though it plans to bring them back after seeking explicit permission from users. Amazon said it still uses humans, but users can decline or opt out of human transcription. You shouldn't have to opt out, it should be opt in. A report from tech news site Motherboard last week said Microsoft also uses human transcribers with some Skype converse conversations and commands spoken to Microsoft's digital assistant Cortana. Microsoft said in a statement that it has safeguards such as stripping identifying data and requiring non-disclosure agreement, agreements with contractors and their employees, yet details, leaked to mother, yet details leaked to Motherboard. After the Motherboard report, Microsoft said it said, quote unquote, could do a better job 
explaining that humans listen to the conversations. It's updated frequently. It updated its frequently asked questions for Skype to say that user using the translation service, quote, may include transcriptions of audio recordings by Microsoft employees and vendors, close quote. You get a couple of rogue vendors. You get a whole pile of stuff leaked. It's amazing what humans will do for extra money if it comes down to corruption. Um, it makes sense to use human transcribers to, tra to train artificial intelligence systems, Winterton said. But the issue is that companies are leading people to believe that only machines are listening to audio, causing miscommunications and distrust, she said. Quote, communicating to users through your privacy policy is legal but not ethical, she said. The company's privacy policies, usually long, dense documents, often permit the user of the computer data to improve products and services, but the language can be opaque. We collect the content, communications and other information you provide when you use our products, including when you sign up for an account, create or share content and message or communicate with others, close quote. Facebook's data use policy reads, it does not mention audio or voice specifically or using transcribers. Bajaran said tech companies need to use multiple methods to refine artificial intelligence software as digital voice assistance and voice to tech technology is still new. But he said being more clear about the human involvement is quote unquote, the very least companies could do. They should be very clear on what their policies are and if consumer message, message or whatever it is are going to be seen. So if consumer messages or whatever it is are going to be seen, close quote, he said, quote, if humans are part of the process for analysis, that needs to be stated as well, close quote. Um, Yes, it needs to be stated, but tell me a company is actually going to inform a user that people are transcribing and using that data. Of course they're not. Otherwise, we wouldn't sign up to anything. It's known as false sense of security. Um, Irish data protection regulators say they're seeking more details from Facebook to assess compliance with European data regulations. The agency statement says it's also had, quote, ongoing engagement with Google, Apple and Microsoft, close quote, over the issue, though Amazon wasn't mentioned. Of course, Amazon's not going to be mentioned. Bezos wants to know everything. So does Zuckerberg. So does Gates. So does the NSA. <laughs> Facebook is already under scrutiny for a variety of other ways it, it has misused user data. It's agreed to a five billion US dollar fine to settle a US Federal Trade Commission probe of its privacy practices. I'm sorry to be a bit of a realist here. Um, we, I, this whole thing about privacy is unfortunately becoming a weaker argument. We leave digital footprints everywhere. Social media, including YouTube and that, use those footprints to make money. We can lessen the footprints. I could be a pessimistic person here and say the whole reason Facebook is transcribing user data is to sell it to advertising companies in order to target more advertising on Facebook specific to the user. Unfortunately, I'm not surprised by this. In fact, I'm actually surprised it's not more aggressive. We are talking about Microsoft, Amazon, Google, Facebook, Apple. Now, we don't know from this news story how extensive the transcriptions are. Are they actually sitting there and writing everything down or are they taking snippets? 
reducing identifying material. Hello, you can reduce it as much as you want, but the metadata is still going to be there. Companies collect metadata all the time. So there we go. More, more privacy issues for Facebook and other companies as well. Stick around. More coming up. Have a good one all. Cheers.